Hey friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. On this Saturday before Easter, the biggest day in the whole Christian faith. And today, in keeping with our series on people who interacted with Jesus during the last week of his life, let's talk about somebody who met Jesus on the last day of his life, just in the last few moments of his life actually. Somebody who had seemingly more faith than almost anybody else in the Bible. So we know when Jesus was crucified, there were two others who were crucified with him, two criminals. And Luke 23 tells the story of these criminals. Actually, in another gospel, it says that both of them were mocking Jesus. But one of them must have had a change of heart somewhere along the way. Because even though one of the gospels says that they were both mocking him, Luke 23, 39 and following tells a different story. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. You, you know, Jesus had a character that was different than most people I've ever met. People were walking by and insulting him. The Jewish leaders were insulting him. The guards were insulting him. Everybody was saying, if you're the Messiah, come down off that cross. You know, the Bible in Psalm 23 or Psalm 22, it predicted that they would surround him and, and mock him. But can you imagine having all the power you need and staying on that cross to die for people who are acting like that? And now, one of the ones who's dying on the cross near him is using his precious breath to mock him as well. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. How did this guy know this? This criminal looked at Jesus and he realized, I know criminals and this isn't one. Verse 42, it says, Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. I think it's amazing the faith that this man had. You know, when you see miracles, when Jesus could feed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish, that's a good reason to believe in him. When he calls out Lazarus, and Lazarus, after days in the grave, comes out alive. When he sees a, a little girl that's raised to life, or a man who's lame, or someone who's born blind, and you see those miracles, or you hear the beautiful teachings of Jesus, it's easy to see that there's something different about him. But this man saw Jesus dying on the cross, seemingly at his weakest moment, at his worst failure. And he saw him and he said, there's something different about him. And he put his faith in Jesus. He said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The disciples still thought that Jesus was going to have a political kingdom and that he had failed. This guy realized he's going to be in a kingdom, a spiritual, a heavenly kingdom. And he said, remember me when you get there. And Jesus answered, truly I tell you, today you'll be with me in paradise. If anybody thinks that good works are necessary to get to heaven, it shows that's not true. Even Christians who know that we're saved by faith, some of them will say, well, you got to get saved by faith, and then you start to earn your way to salvation. This guy didn't have any way to earn his way to salvation. He gave his life to Jesus on that cross, and all he had left was a few moments before he died. He couldn't get baptized. He couldn't attend church. He couldn't go to Sunday school. He couldn't get a Bible. He couldn't go to seminary or learn. He couldn't give to the poor. He had lived his life as a criminal and he died as a criminal. But Jesus said that he died saved. Today, you'll be with me in paradise. That should, should give us all hope, right? No matter where you've been, no matter what you've done, 
if you have a breath left in your body, that you can say, Jesus, save me. The Bible says he will. If that's something in your heart, that you can say, Jesus is Lord, and believe that God raised him from the dead, the Bible says you will be saved. Now, I do believe if that thief got down off that cross, if he had been pardoned at the last moment and he had a life to live, I really believe that he would have lived for Jesus from that moment on. But he didn't have that opportunity, and he was still saved. Oh, the grace of Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father, this unnamed thief on the cross means so much to us as a picture of grace without any opportunity for works. Thank you that by your grace, bought for us with Jesus on the cross, we can be saved. Amen. God bless you all. I love you all. And remember, 7 o'clock tomorrow, we're going to have our sunrise service and then breakfast. And we will not have a service at 10. If you come to church at, on Easter at 10 o'clock, nobody will be there. So come to 7. It's going to be a great service, I'm sure. And God's going to be there with us. Take care. I love you. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. And if you can't come, watch us here on Facebook. Take care.